Hey guys, welcome to the video. In this video here, we're going to do stars tank detection and also tracking with a ULV-8 Arena bounding box model. So instead of having the traditional bounding boxes where we just have a square or a rectangle, we can now have these rotated or oriented bounding boxes, which can actually be very helpful in a lot of different projects and applications, especially within the industrial sector. So we're going to run through a bunch of examples with stars tank detection and also tracking so we can have these drone views where we can go in and detect these storage tanks. You can then do tracking systems, counting systems, and so on on top of that. So let's just jump straight into it and see how we can use this ULV-8 model with RNA bounding boxes for storage tank detection. So first of all, we jump straight into the Autolytics documentation. If we go inside the task, we can see we both have detection, segmentation, classification, post estimation, and OPB, which stands for oriented bounding boxes so if you just go inside that we already have tons of videos both how you can train your own model and also how you can use it out of the box in this video here we're specifically going to take a look at how we can use the model for storage tank detection and also tracking in industrial use cases so the RNA bounding box models here they're pre-trained on dota v1 data set where if you're using the traditional ulv8 models they're trained on the coco data set so we have some other classes in the pre-trained models so you can go ahead and check out the videos we pretty much have videos covering everything so this is how we can apply it on an industrial use case the only thing that we need to do is just to have this dash opb behind our different yolo v8 models if we just go inside the data set to start with i'm just going to press on dota v1 and we'll go inside the github repository where we have this yaml file for our data set so if you take a look at it these are all the classes that we have inside of it and this is the pre-trained model which you can use out of the box you just need to specify it of course you can go in and fine tune it on your specific data set as well but these are from drone or aerial images so we can both detect plane ships and we have the storage tank so we can use that out of the box for the videos that i have and applying it to industrial use cases baseball diamond tennis court basketball court and so on so these are some pretty cool classes to have out of the box if you're using aerial and also drone footage so here you can see all the classes we have 15 classes in total you can download the data set if you want to use it as well or just want to predict and detect specific classes so let's now go back inside the documentation and scroll a bit further down we both support everything so training validation prediction export and so on we can see we have all these variations of the models so nano small medium large and extra large this is how you can train it we just load in the model we either use it from scratch or use the pre-trained one on the dota 1 data set we just need to hit dot train and specify our yaml file the number of epochs and so on but we have tons of videos already covering that we need to make sure that we have the data set in the correct format but that's also covered in one of the other videos we can do validation and then in this video we're both going to do prediction but also object tracking on top of it so instead of doing predictions on individual images we track the objects that we're detecting so in this case storage tanks we detect and track those over a number of frames in consecutive frames could be a video could be a live stream rtps camera web camera and so on we can also export the model as the other yolv8 models so we can directly use them with all these optimization frameworks but let's now going to see how it works so i'm just going to open up my co-editor here i already just have copy pasted the code snippet inside the model we can both do detection so we can either call predict here directly out of the box it will do prediction so just traditional object detection with orange bounding boxes and we can also just specify track and it's going to apply optic tracking on top of that directly. So this is how easy it is to use with the Autolytics framework. So we have our pre-trained ulvs obb model up here. So we can use these RNA bounding boxes instead of traditional ones. And this is really helpful in a lot of industrial use cases, but also in pretty much like traffic analysis. If you have like a top view from your camera, could be that you have ships parking systems and so on where you want to have rotated bounding boxes to see if the parking spots are occupied or not so instead of having these traditional boxes which is actually just going to stretch out around the whole object it is not really going to fit it perfectly where now we have these RNA bounding boxes that can fit way better around the objects but we'll also get the rotation you can use that information with respect to one of the axes so the x-axis or the y-axis so we can both determine the angle of our object we fit the bounding box better and so on. So this is really helpful in a lot of use cases and projects. So we have these two video files. I can just play some of them here, but these are just the ones from the drone that we're going to do the taking and tracking off with these different storage tanks at an industrial side. 
We also have the other example here. So it's a 30 second video and then we can go in and do counting systems and so on on top of it. Could be verification, inspections and so on with our drone, applying deep learning and AI models on top of that. So right now let's just go in and run it. We have everything up and running. We just need to specify the path, show and also save the results. We have all the other documents as well, confidence score in section of a union. You can check out those parameters inside the Autolytics documentation. So let's now just go down and run the Python script. Let's go with this second video for now. So Python storage tank detection. There we go. I'm going to run it. This is going to run on my MacBook CPU. We can extract all the results. This is around 120 milliseconds inference time. We can see that we assign an ID to each individual storage tank that we're detecting in the image. And it works pretty good out of the box here. We have some over here to the left, which is not able to detect and some in the background, but in the foreground here, we pretty much detect all the storage tanks available. We can go in and use Sachi tiling windows and so on to get even better precision or train a more specific model. This is still a pre-trained model with a bunch of other classes in there, but this looks pretty cool. We get the, all the IDs, we keep track of the ID. It's not really ID switching a lot and we get high confidence score in our predictions as well. So this is a really, really nice use case for industrial settings. And there's tons of different ones out there where we basically just want to do visual inspection with drones. Doesn't have to be drones, could also be like CCTV cameras and so on, where we can use these RNA bounding boxes to provide helpful information to our systems. So let's go ahead and use the other one here as well. Just take a look at that example. And while that is running, let's go in and pull up the documentation so we can see how we can run it from the terminal as well. So here is just a few lines of code, but we can also run it directly in the terminal. So this example here is not really that good compared to the other one. We miss a lot of storage tanks up here in the top right corner, but that could be because of the pre-trained models, could be because of the data that we have inside the Dota V1 data set, and it's not really the largest and the best one out there. So if you want to apply it to your own specific uses and examples, I'll definitely recommend to go in, extract some images, go in and fine tune the model specifically on the storage tanks that you have at your industrial side. We can also see we get some false predictions with chips, but those can be filtered out with confidence score. So we can see that these have significantly lower confidence score compared to the other ones. So I'm actually gonna get some chips up here to the right corner. Let's see if we get the ones in the background. Probably not, they're too small. But here we can see the effect of the RNA bounding boxes compared to a traditional one where it will just been a very large bounding box around it and it will pretty much cover half of the sea as well but now we have this nicely fitted RNA bounding box around our objects so if you want to run it from the terminal as well we can just go in and copy paste it directly here there we go it's just a single command paste it in and then we just need to specify the path to our video so i'll grab it from here and we just need to swap it out with this image. And again, you can use an RGS stream, webcam stream, and so on. You just need to specify the index and it's going to pull that up automatically. All the models, they will be downloaded as well automatically when you run it for the first time. So here we can see the system running from the command line instead of code. But again, we just have a few lines of code. If you want to use that, you can extract all the results from the results generator. So this is really useful in industrial use cases. RNA bounding boxes are very nice. So if you're not familiar with it, definitely go in and check it out. And also if you can fine tune your own models on it, set up systems around it, a really cool project is parking management system. And those are also some good ones for RNA bounding boxes. I hope you'll learn a ton this video here. If you're interested, definitely go in and check out some of the other videos that we have on the channel. We pretty much cover everything related to autolytics, v 8 computer vision, and so on in general. And then I'll just see you guys in one of the upcoming videos. Until then, happy learning.